Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor and I recently upgraded my build plate to the Gecko Tech build plate and I'm super excited to tell you about it. So for the longest time I've had this build plate on my build uh, on my 3D printer. It's an upgrade that I got from Bottleworks, the same guy who did the metal arms for my build plate, which if you have this sort of 3D printer and you have the plastic arms, you should really switch them for the metal ones. Bottleworks, I love it. And I loved his upgrade for a build plate, uh, but one problem with it was it had these glass build plates that held on on the edges with magnets and I kept breaking them. I just was never happy. My old 3D printer video about glass and hairspray is no longer accurate because I stopped using glass. And instead I went to a metal foundry and I asked them to make me an aluminum build plate of the same size which I have been using ever since. They brushed it up and I put hairspray on this. So still hairspray accurate, but glass not so much. Gl metal and hairspray works just fine too. However, uh, despite the fact that I was super careful about the placement of these magnets and made sure that they were on there, click, um, I was, my print quality suffered a lot since I started using this. And I think it was because I was getting a little bit of wiggle on my build plate uh, because I didn't get this exactly the right size or maybe it expanded or shrunk or something, I don't know. But regardless, I've been unhappy with it and I tried several different build plates, but these cost $100 a sheet to, to get them cut at a, at a metal place. So instead, I decided, somebody recommended that I try out the Gecko Tech build plate. And so I did. Now the Gecko Tech build plate, this is my old build plate which I had to cannibalize in order to uh, put on the Gecko Tech build plate. And here's a build uh, picture of the new Gecko Tech build plate. It replaced this with a bank of magnets that holds their metal build plates on very securely. Now, the process of removing all these little screws and putting them in here, I do not ever want to do that again. <laughs> that hurt a lot. But it's all done, that's taken care of, and now I can use these metal, little sheets of metal with uh, some sort of fancy Gecko Tech coating on here that holds on to the prints. And I love that I can pop it off, just, just pull it right off the magnet, give it a little twist and eventually the prints will just fly right off. However, you might notice this one is really messy. I have abused the heck out of my Gecko Tech build plate. And in fact, I had the level too tight. With a Gecko Tech build plate, you can actually ease up on the level, give it just a little bit more space. You don't have to squish that first layer in as much. And I didn't a couple of times, and I squished that layer. And ABS seems to stick to this even worse. Uh, it loves to release for PLA, but for ABS, it doesn't seem to like releasing for it. And I have some here. I've scraped most of it off, but I had a large chunk of ABS that was just stuck to this. And despite every attempt, they, they say, don't use metal razors on it and just use your fingernail to get stuff off. I could not get it off. So I contacted them by email and I said, hey, would it damage the coating if I used a little bit of acetone to soften up the ABS and get it off of there? And they didn't respond for, it, it wasn't that long, but I was impatient and I thought, well, I'll just science the heck out of this and see how it works. So I poured some acetone right on here and sure enough, it softened up the ABS and ruined the coating. So that was entirely my fault. And when the Gecko Tech people finally contacted me, it, I say finally, it wasn't that long. I was impatient and I told them what had happened. They were super nice and said, hey, we're going to go ahead and send you a new build plate. They took responsibility for being late, and, and I appreciate them for that. Again, it was my own fault. I should have waited, but I was like, oh, just, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I'll end up ruining this plate. And honestly, if I end up completely ruining this plate over time, what I will probably do is I'll just, now that I know the acetone will take this coating off, I'll just take this coating right off and put some build tack or actually I'll probably buy some of uh, the Flash Forge blue stuff. I don't even know what it was. It's like build tape or it's like build tack, but it's blue and it's slightly different, but it works great. And it's this exact size because of course the Flash Forge Creator Pro stole these designs and made their own printer. And so, yeah, 14 bucks, I'll just stick it on here and, and I'll have a removable build plate uh, that that uh, I'll be able to take off. It's super cool. Totally going to do that. 
but I'm going to wait until I got two ruined build plates. That way I can still remove them and swap them. I don't mind doing a little DIY. The, the coating that's on here, as long as you treat it nice, not like I do, uh, it will last a long time, but I've abused the heck out of this, and, and I take responsibility for that. That's me. I'm not disappointed with my Gecko Tech build plate. In fact, quite the contrary. I'm extremely happy that I made this change. Now, I do have to admit that the magnet holding the build plate on will occasionally slip. Very occasionally, very rarely. And to solve it, I got myself some... Uh, uh, clothing clips, the, the sort of clips that you use to hang up your clothing with, the wooden ones, and uh, I just clip clip it onto one side to keep it from slipping. And I only do that on big prints where I'm concerned that over time it might slip. But I've had it happen twice in the couple of months that I've been using these build plates. It's extremely rare, extremely uncommon, and I wasn't watching what happened. It's possible that an over-extrusion caught the nozzle and it drug it or something. and It would have to produce a lot of force to be able to drag it. And one time it happened because I had a piece of plastic, spare plastic, from when I had removed the print and put it back on that had fallen underneath. And so this was pivoting on there. It didn't get a good seal. Entirely my fault. So, not disappointed. Super excited to have it. The other thing about the Gecko Tech build plate that I'm less happy with was my my old build plate had three-point leveling and I had to drill a hole to make that happen but I love three-point leveling and unfortunately I had to go back to four-point leveling because I had to go back to my old build plate for that one so I'm less happy about that but I can live with that it's okay and I'm just happy to be able to have good clean prints. Oh yes, my print quality went right back up. I'm back to using this printer for just about everything because it prints so beautifully now and the problem was I had a bad build plate. Now the people at Gecko Tech, super cool and have said that if this video, you watch it and you go, man, I do kind of want to try that out, you can get a 15% discount ordering a Gecko Tech using the code 3DPROF, but you got to do it in the month uh, from now until the end of November 2016. Go ahead if you can. I do recommend upgrading to the Gecko Tech build plate just so that you can have a removable build plate and a really cool surface to print on. I don't know what this stuff is. It's some sort. It's it's like hairspray, but a lot more permanent in the sense that it's it's a it's a polymer on here, but it's super cool and I I. I can't say enough good about it. It's a great build plate. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope that you'll check out Gecko Tech and go try out the coupon code if you want. And I'll see you next time. probably can't see it as well in the video but today's tie is Mickey Mouse Paisley because if you're gonna do Paisley do Mickey Mouse Paisley